Hello everyone, I'm Ashot44 and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be playing something I've promised for a while, but I haven't actually played. It's Orn Support. This is my main. This is like my main champion, the champion I have the most experience with, the most mastery points that is. And it's a pick I absolutely love, just Orn Support. Here's my uh, usual item set. It is so good. Uh, you guys can't believe it. I don't know why Orn is a top laner. He should be a support. And I'm going to prove to you guys today. So, unfortunately, however, this guy picked Ezreal. Ezreal is the one ADC that doesn't work well with Orn support. I have to be honest. Like, I'd say the best ones are Ash and Misfortune. They just work so fucking well with Orn. But Ezreal, nah, not really. But the good news on the other side is that we are against a Zerath and a Twitch, two champions that are very immobile and Orn can handle well. So my strategy with Orn support is kind of uh, easy, basic. Uh, basically I just kill two melee minions with uh, my support item, which is Steel Shoulder Guards, and yep, this guy is just dead, he has no flash. Alright, so yeah. As soon as I've, uh, as soon as it reaches two minutes, because that's when Futures Market activates, I take Futures Market with Orange Support. Uh, I just build a Rejuvenation Bead, and that's the lane one. See, this actually wins lane for so many reasons. Like, first of all, any trade you do, you just win afterwards because you can regen back all the health you lost. And the other reason is just any type of poke that they do, I just regen it back, and that's it. And I'm just gonna go in for a kill here. Alright. Also, Orn likes to do those mini trades when you play support. Excuse me, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> Are you trying? Are you trying? Seriously? But yeah, uh, Orn, because uh, you take Aftershock, which is like the best rune for Orn. Like, Grasp of the Undying, who? Like, I'm sorry, but Orn's passive increases his armor and magic resist by 10%. And when you proc Aftershock, it just gives you a ton of armor and magic resist. So I really don't understand why people would say Grasp of the Undying. But yeah, because of that, Orn can just... I've taken Poke, I don't even care. Because of that, Orn can just go in for like very mini trades and then just do one big trade, which is at level 3 I like to do it. I'm just gonna ping this guy. Uh, yeah, at level 3 I'll just go for an all-in with my W and just basically get a kill. It's so simple to do, it's so easy. Like, a lot of people have actually told me that I've been trolling. Like, this guy, this Ezreal, right before the game, he begged me to play a quote, normal support. Like, for fuck's sake, dude. Like, <laughs> I play this shit for a living. There is no champion I love more than Orn. He is so much fun. And this guy is basically dead right here. Oh, no, unless the Silas shows up. But I think. Yeah, no, that's uh, that's my bad. I didn't see the Silas. Alright, that's a bad example, but uh, yeah, if Silas wasn't there, I would have easily gotten a double there. But yeah, we're just going to have to wait a sec. I'm going to rush boots and head back to the lane. One clash, that's why those are there. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. So, alright. I think I just get to lane and get an easy kill. So another good reason to play Orn support is actually because uh, of his brittle. Like... His brittle extends the CC durations of abilities, and while yes, this does extend both of Orn's knockups, it's actually just way better to play him with like an Ash who has like an inbuilt stun in her kit. Yeah, I've just got this guy, and this guy as well. So there we go, Orn support, baby. Uh, but that my my ADC is just dead. <laughs> All right. All right, no problem. F in chat. <laughs> no, he just wrote F in chat. I don't have a chat. I'm not live streaming. Fuck me, seriously? Seriously? That made him go AFK. These fucking people, dude. <laughs> okay. He came back. Alright, alright. Good boy. Good boy, Ezreal. Good boy. So yeah, something I've noticed about the enemy team is that like most of them are pre-made. I know that technically farming as a support is a bad idea, but I know what I'm doing here. Trust me. 
I play I play a lot of one support. I play a lot of support in general. I can generally just play anything support. If you just ask me to. Like um a friend of mine had an idea for this channel to like its whole my my whole channel theme to just be that I just play weird things support, which I'm actually all for, you know? I like I main orn support. That's one thing. But I've just had some really weird picks in support that I just make work. Like, uh, I've played Zig support the game before this one, or actually the game before the game before this one. And yeah, I just dominated lane. I ended up losing the game because my ADC just didn't know, know how to properly play with the lead. Actually, yeah, this guy's just straight up dead. <laughs> you gotta learn that timing. Don't worry, I got this guy. Yep, there we go. I had to flash there to get the knockup. Yeah, or Orn is just OP. Another good reason to play Orn support is actually his ultimate, which I'm gonna get in a bit, and I'm gonna demonstrate how good it is. But um, yeah, in the top lane, people just tend to avoid Orn's ultimate because, well, they play with the bushes. This is a big thing that I've actually noticed, and it's actually quite important. Uh, people in the top lane play with their bushes. In the bot lane, they kind of just stay away from the bushes. It makes it so easy to hit Orn's ultimate. I'm not actually going in until I have some vision, dude. <laughs> Ward. But see, like, I took some damage, and I'm just, I've just healed it all again. And yep, that's Orn's support, baby. And look, I'm actually just going to be fine right here. <laughs> I'm gonna pop a potion, and I'm just gonna stay in lane. He can't outpoke me. Yeah, uh, well, when I say outpoke, he can't poke me out of lane. So yeah, I'm just gonna build some more armor. Now armor isn't technically useful, but I want to rush my items. Like uh, the item I rush every single game is a uh, locket of the iron solari. I don't know why I do though. <laughs> it's really good. It wins me games, but. For some reason, it just works extremely well. I suppose it's because if it upgrades, it becomes super powerful. Yeah, get him. Wait, how did that not hit the wall? Anyway, he's dead. Anyway. Kill number two. <laughs> Alright, there we go. See, orange support. Yo, yo, help me up with this cannon. Help me up with this cannon. Ah, oh, you fucking dickhead. Now I can't stack my support item. Alright, now I'm just going to pop my second health pot. Okay, we can actually take this guy. Even if he steals my ultimate. Yeah. He's not going to do anything with it. Dude, don't take the fucking... Anyway. Uh, yeah. We, we kind of need this mountain drake. Why? Why would you want the fucking scuttle when there's a free drake? This is what I don't get about low elo junglers. It's like, hmm, drake or... <laughs> Alright, don't worry, I'm actually fine here. Yeah, I did my job. Fucking Ezreal, though. Alright. I suppose, yeah, going for a drake there would have been a bad call, but uh, this Galio had ultimate the whole time. He just didn't fucking use it. Would Ninja Tabby be good? Let me think about it. I don't think so. Uh, I'm just gonna go for this. Alright. The fact that they're starting it without me is such a bad thing. I'm gonna have to rush there. Like, everyone on the enemy team's alive. At least we have mid priority, kinda. So, yeah. Okay, so in other news, because I feel like talking to you guys about this because it's kind of important, I developed Carpal Tunnel. Yep. Shit sucks. Thank you, Zara. Uh, yeah, so in case you don't know what Carpal Tunnel is, it's basically the nerves in my hand because of the way I've been playing League of Legends, and, well, the amount as well. Uh, basically, my uh, muscles or bones, I'm not exactly sure, around my wrist have tightened. So it makes it super hard and painful for me to move my fingers. So that's why maybe my gameplay isn't as good as it normally would. But still, I would say quite good. Alright. Uh, I have ultimate right now. So we can probably make something happen. Easy kills. 
I'm going for this guy. Alright. He didn't. Yeah, you, sometimes Switch players just kind of stick around for no reason. Um, yeah. Alright. So, now I've got my locket. I can rush into my boots. So, yeah, well, you have noticed that um, I do play very supportive. I'm not exactly fully support, you know? I, I'm still going to rush, like, uh, Iceborne Gauntlet, just because it's really good on Orn. And I'm not going to try for a tower dive, but I just want to get some damage on this guy. Alright. That should be good enough. I can tank shit all day. Don't. See, this is what I hate about, like, low elo ADCs. They just fucking leave wards when they see you moving towards leaving a ward. It's like, why did you just fucking do that? This Arath's just fucking dead again. And so is my ADC. Alright, I'm fine though. Yeah, this Ezreal doesn't know what Twitch is gonna do. Like, yeah, like, the, I'd say the second most predictable ADC in the game. He's like, oh, I wonder what he's gonna do. Uh, is he gonna fucking die me right now? What, what, what's he gonna do? Like, dude, he's playing fucking Zerath. You know what he's gonna do. Zerath, fucking Twitch. I'm focusing on the Zerath right now. Alright. He thinks he can zone me out, but I can actually just turn and kill this Twitch. Not yet, though. I'm gonna wait for my ult. That's when I've got them. He he's gonna ult me right now, but I've got locket, so I'm fine. Yo, Ezreal, if you could actually just ult right now. All right. I have ultimate, so we can actually make a play here. I feel like the Twitch is sticking around. He just doesn't want us to know where. And I'm giving him Dark Harvest Axe, but it doesn't fucking matter. Alright, so this is the only time with own support that you want to reset, because I uh, evolved my support item, and I can just recall, and swap it out. No, not swap it out, swap my ward out, that's what I mean. And buy a control ward, and that's all I do. <laughs> It's the only reason I ever recall with Orn is to just do that. Uh, yeah, and also I re uh, recall at some point in the game to sell my regen bead. Like, yeah. That, by the way, is <laughs> fucking cast on my hand. Can't help but press space. Alright. I've got ultimate. Let's make something happen down bot. Gonna leave a control word here. Normal ward here. I'm gonna kill that twitch there. <laughs> alright, alright. Uh, Drake is spawning soon. This is actually a great Drake for us if we can get it. We do have a lot of alt usage between Galio, Orn, and you know, those two basically. Alright, I'm gonna just finish my boots here. Don't attack me. Thank you. Yeah, you can hit him. Alright. That was a good trade by Ezreal. So, yeah. Uh, Orn is a support, guys. I don't know how to tell you this. Like, stop playing him top lane, please. Like, he just doesn't belong there. I've got this guy. Alright. Alright, I can actually just kill this guy. We've got a few kills here. Alright, you guys have got him, come on. Alright. Alright, yep. See what I mean, guys? Pro support player. <laughs> I've let my ADC die five times. <laughs> Four times. <laughs> All right, but he's playing like shit, I'll be honest. 
Like, yeah, Ezra is like the one ADC that just doesn't work well with orange support. It's because he does just doesn't have any, like, uh, CC. No utility whatsoever. I'd say Ezreal is one of the more selfish ADCs in the game. Him and fucking Yasuo, you know? Like, Ash is honestly my favorite ADC to play with because she just has slows. She throws vision into the enemy jungle. Like, Ash is just the best ADC, I'm sorry. No, no opinions allowed, just mine. This Ezreal is so fucking stupid. Look at what he's doing. Oh man, this is why I can't climb out of silver. <laughs> well, that and the fact that I just don't play enough ranked. I seriously don't play a lot of ranked. Uh, I have a lot of ranked anxiety. Like, yeah, I have games where I play well and my ADC is decent. Not even decent, just knows how to farm and stay safe and reads my fucking pings. And then I have amazing games where I absolutely dominate. But then the next game, I get an ADC who keeps wanting to fucking tower dive and do shit. It's like, come on. Like, how can you play ADC so badly? All you have to do is auto attack. Alright. Alright, I'm going to just zone them here. Good thing I left the ward they didn't take. Alright, here we go. Come on, babies. Do something! Don't just... They are just sitting there. Honestly. Like I'm just diving them, keeping them zoned, and they're just like, Ah, fuck you. <laughs> Man. Alright. This game isn't lost, though. Like, we do kind of scale better than them, sort of. Like, yeah, they do have a Twitch and an Anivia. Actually, no, they have a Silas as well. So... Ooh, it's gonna be a tough one, but not impossible. As soon as I build my Iceborne Gauntlet, things will be different, however. Yeah. And this Ezreal decided to build a fucking Triforce, but went for a Stinger first. Not a Sheen. No, 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 no. Not, not, not that good shit. Now I'm just gonna start with a fucking Stinger. God damn it. Alright, I'm just gonna start rotating now. Now, this is one pro tip if you're playing support and your ADC sucks, just fucking rotate, ignore them. Like, because you're not in lane, they'll sort of have this idea of, oh, I'm instantly not safer, so I'm just gonna stay under tower and farm, which is what they should be doing, but this guy is just stupid, while I'm rotating. So, it's actually very beneficial for me to go rotate because it makes my ADC safer and smarter. While, I'm just gonna stay here for this cannon all right and yeah I'm just rotating being proactive getting kills getting objectives and yeah I'm not being very proactive right now but oh shit all right I have ultimate I just want to waste some of their CC get them a bit closer all right all right I want to pantheon to waste his E because if he doesn't, I'm fucked. That's his E. He keeps stealing my ult. I don't know why. Wait, how did that not knock anyone up? I'm gonna get this guy. Here we go. And that's one support. Alright. <sighs> we both died in vain there. <laughs> okay, that was the worst tower dive I've ever seen by both of us. That was absolutely awful, but this is a normal game. I don't really give a shit. Oh, man. This Ezra just fucking solo died to a Twitch because he went for fucking Stinger before the Sheen. And this guy flames me for picking orange support. He can't fucking play Ezreal. Like, this is how you play Ezreal, alright? Spam Q, E away, and that's how you play Ezreal. But no, nobody, nobody, I swear fucking nobody knows how to play Ezreal anymore. It's like, oh, look, the, the, the ranged minion's low. Let me just use my E to get it. Motherfucker, you're gonna die. <laughs> I swear to god, dude. It's, it's so fucking stupid. Like, it's Ezreal is one of the easiest 
80 carries to pick up, but one of the hardest to master. This guy went AFK as well. But for some reason, people have completely forgotten the easy to play part. They're just like, oh, I'm playing Ezreal. I have to be whatever, uh, whatever fucking the Koreans do with Ezreal. Like, no, just fucking spam Q, play safe. Like, GG. Literally. Alright, time to build a Sheen. Don't fucking... <clears throat> That's why I hate Zara. I have I have this idea that like Serath or Twitch are kind of smurfing because first of all only Smurfs have the confidence to go heal barrier, but he could it could just have been it could have just been a misclick, and also he's not really missing anything is he? So yeah, I might be up against a Smurf this game. Uh, this Ezreal is just fucking dead because he doesn't know how to use his fucking E. Alright, I'm just gonna wait. Alright. That Aurelia is dumb as bricks. It's like, you ult there. For what, exactly? <laughs> That's what I don't get, dude. Like, this way, I want to climb to, like, at least plat. Because, at least... You know, in, in Silver, you see this shit. It's like... Oh, I'm playing Aurelia. If I'm very fed with Aurelia, I can 1v5. I'm 7 and 10. That means I can still 1v5. Like, no, dude, that's not how the game works. You e you either fed and you 1v5, or you're not fed and you play safe till you build your items and then 1v5. Like, I, I honestly think that play safe is beyond the comprehension of, like, silver players. Like, I've had games where I'm playing really aggressive champions, like Orn. Orn is an aggressive support, but I can play defensively. Like, I can sit under tower and just wait until I have an opportunity. I swear to God, other people just can't do that. They just see the slightest thing and they're like, Ah, oh, let me fucking go in on this. Ah, oh, shit, this is so good. Ah, oh, I'm gonna fucking get the kills here. You know what I mean? I see it like this. Like, they're doing okay here, but that's because the enemy forgot to, like, recall and reset. Which is, like, number one, you win a team fight, you get an objective, you recall, and you reset. Number one thing. I can actually tower dive this guy, but I'm not going to. <sighs> this Ezreal is dumb as bricks! <laughs> Alright. Guys, we, get, we, we, we just get a tower here. Like, come on. Like, no, just hit the fucking tower. Hit the... This is what I mean, guys. This is what I mean. I'm not usually somebody who gets mad at video games, but these people make me mad at video games. You know what I mean? At least it's a normal game, and I low-key just don't give a shit. These guys are just dying. Like, yeah, look at the fucking Galio. Going in greedy for the kills when you can just get a free tower and recall. Like... That's the thing I like about Orn, though. He doesn't have to re- oh, look at him. He's just going back and forth there while he knows the enemy's there, and he's like, Come on, kill me! You know? This is why I hate low elo. I think everyone hates low elo for the same reasons, but... Ah! See? Doesn't focus the Twitch! No, 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 no. No, the Twitch is too fucking good for him. He focuses the fucking Pantheon. I know I'm saying fuck a lot, and I hope you don't fucking mind, but I fucking love the word fuck. It's just so fucking useful. You can literally fucking use it any fucking sentence at any fucking time. For any fucking reason. You know? <laughs> if this video gets taken down, I swear to god. <laughs> Did I even press start recording? Right. Apparently I did. <laughs> yeah. uh, man. You can tell this is this is like a quality channel, you know? Alright. I think building magic resist at this point would be a great idea and adaptive helm is just that because all they do is spam abilities oh. yep i also took conditioning which you know combined with orange passive just gives him a ton of it gives him 15 percent bonus armor and magic resist from all sources which if you if that doesn't sound op to you i really don't know what does okay this uh dude just stole my ult i don't care though that's a flash. He doesn't know how to edit. Or does he? Oh, bitch. Oh, wait, I don't have locket. Fuck. <laughs> I thought I had locket. 
So focus the egg that's not hurting you. See, look at these guys. They're just all over the place. They're not focusing a target. Like, clearly the problem with this game is Zerath. He pokes us out before we can do anything. Like, Silas, yeah, he, he can be dealt with. But fucking... Zerath, he's so easy to kill. Like, he's so immobile. Just focus him, you know? Same with Twitch. Like, Twitch does have a Bork, which I will give them. But fuck's sake, man. I honestly just want to FF this game. <laughs> Low key. Alright, but I hope you guys, like, enjoy this, like, orange support. Like, I just want to like, give you guys an insight on what I play. And this is, like, I should have actually kept the rejuvenation beef. <laughs> Fuck. Never mind. Uh, that's a waste of gold. I, di I didn't predict I was going to go for an adaptive helm. I'm not building a Knight's Vow or a Zeke's. First of all, never build a Zeke's on, uh, Orn. Like, I have it there because it's sometimes useful for the stats, but not useful for anything else. I don't know why I went around though, I think I just misclicked. I can actually 1v1 the Silas, but... Ooh, are you actually kidding me? Fuck you! <laughs> Alright, All right, if I would have hit that knockup, I think things would have been slightly different. Not very different, because the Pantheon was there, but slightly. I'm also putting down no fucking vision in this game, but I have like the highest vision score on my team, so... That says a lot, doesn't it? Mine. You guys don't deserve kills. Alright. You should be a Drake. I do have ult. So if anyone does try to come past... Like this guy, I can just zone him off with my ult. I got the knockup. Doesn't mean you have to go in. I was just zoning him, by the way. This fucking bitch build a Morel Mamacon. Alright, we can actually. Ooh! Ah, cancelled. How come this guy keeps stealing my ultimate? Mm. Okay, I'm forcing them to go one way. How the fuck did you die? I'm literally only going this way because you could have fucking lived. How the fuck did you die? God, it's these pieces of shit. You know what I mean? I told him not to pick as, But he did. Like I told him. I told him five times in chat. He, he, he fucking hovered. Ho hovered, hovered over all the champions that are great with Orn. He hovered over Caitlyn. Oh, Caitlyn is fantastic with Orn. Misfortune, like honestly, one of the best. Ash, holy shit, she's good. But he picked Ezreal. The one thing I told him not to pick. Like he said, please pick normal support. I'm like, I main Orn support. Just don't play Ezreal because it's bad with him. And he's like, okay. Then what does he do? Pick Ezreal. Fuck you. Fuck you and all your low elo bullshit. I don't care how good you are with Ezreal, it's just bad with Orn. That's that. That's this. But thank god I scale into the late game. <laughs> Alright. Let's keep building this magic resist. I have 200 something right now. Alright. The yeah, Ashmore Gauntlet is just useful for Orn. Look, they're gonna fucking die. Because they just run at the Twitch. Don't run at Twitch! You fucking idiot! Never run at Twitch. You either have him caught out or you don't. You never run at him. Jesus Christ, right in real life. I know, right? <laughs> Alright, I'm almost at my adaptive helm, so I'm just gonna keep farming. This is the point in the game where Orin sort of transitions into what he would do as a top laner. He just farms. 
But it only happens when you're losing games. If you're winning games, then fine. Usually when I lose with Ornn, it's not because the enemy is better, it's because my team is worse. Like, if my team is decent, you can just win you can just win with Orn because what Orn does is that he set up a lot he sets up a lot of opportunities. And if your team just doesn't follow them up, uh, then nothing happens basically. Oh I have my upgrades. Alright, that's good. Come on, come on. <sighs> Fuck, alright. I'm just gonna go for these guys. Actually, I'm out. Fuck, alright. That Aurelia just keeps going balls deep. Like, for fuck's sake. Stop going so balls deep, dude. Play a little safer. Yeah. But I can upgrade someone's item. Is this guy going for an Iceborne and a Trinity for Force? Like, Ezreal, what the fuck are you doing, dude? And this shit goes trolling. So, yeah. Alright, that was GG. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's kind of shit, but I had to upload something. Uh, because of my carpal tunnel, I'm not going to be able to play as much. So, that's an insight into what I've been playing. Uh, please let me know, guys, if you actually want to see that series where I just play anything support. Because I could seriously play anything support. If I just had the chance, so just tell me, and I'll do it. Like anything, just anything in the comments. The first thing is what I'm gonna be playing as support. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good day.